Hello everybody, welcome back to another video, and in today's video we're going to be showing you what you can do with the Tetris 99 cartridge version without updating it. So, so we're just going to be taking a look at what comes on the cartridge and everything. So, yeah, let's just get started with it. Just pop in the cartridge. I am disconnected from the internet too, by the way. And, um, so, let's just see what version comes on it first. So, it does come with version 1.3.0. Um... That's not the newest version. So, and unfortunately, if you've already updated to the newest version of the game, you cannot revert back at all. Um, this is a thing with all Switch games. Uh, the only way you can get around this is by reformatting your system. Just with every game, your Switch will not let you revert back to previous updates. It's really dumb, I know, but it's a thing with the Switch. It's been a thing since the Wii U, actually. The Wii U did the same thing as well. So... It's really dumb, but yeah. Um, thankfully, I did have the digital version, but the last time I updated it was... Well, actually, I never even updated it. I just played it, like, right when it first came out. So, yeah, I, I don't think I've actually updated it at all, ever. So, it does come with 1.3.0, though. So, it is a newer version than what I had before, definitely. So, yeah, it does say a new update's available, probably because I dis I uh, I had my internet connected before this, and then I disconnected it. Um, so it probably knows, so it's just going to tell me anyways, even if I can't download the update. So I'm just going to start it without the update and everything. So let's... Oh, look, you can see me. Hello. <laughs> All right. So it does boot up. Uh, it saves for the first time. Oh, look, you can see my phone in the reflection. Hello. Obtaining data. And there it goes. Oh, right stick doesn't work, but... Yeah, you can boot up into the main menu. It does include the CP Battle and Marathon modes on the cartridge. It does not include the uh, local arena and two-player share battle modes. These modes are in the update. These two are in the update, but these two are included on the cartridge. So, yeah, don't don't get confused. So, these additional updates are referring... These additional modes included via game update, these are referring to these two modes. Not not the CPU battle and stuff. So, yeah. I'm guessing options will work. Yeah, options work. Uh, stats, I'm pretty sure, is going to work. Although, I don't have any. <laughs> not on this profile, anyways. Uh, customize... You can change your theme. Um, I only have one theme, though. And... Player icon. only have one player icon. Uh, I know you can level up and earn more player icons. And I know you can actually level up in CPU Battle and stuff. So let's just see if CPU Battle works. Just really quick. Let's just boot that up. And it does. Works fine. Let me just switch to KOs, even though I'm not going to play this for any more than, like, two seconds. Yeah, I'm... It's really hard to play this with, like, one hand, but... Yeah, that does work. Uh, I'm just going to close it because you actually can't pause offline, which is dumb. So let's just start it again offline. Yeah. And I can show you the other modes that should be playable. After it is done loading, that is. I don't know why I tried to skip that. <laughs> Alright, so let's just test Marathon, because I know that one's going to work offline. And it does. And it's giving us the worst pieces possible to start off with, because I can't rotate unless I move my hand, because I'm only, I am only only have one hand available. But I'm not going to play this, really, right now. But let's just try Tetris 99, just because... I know it's not going to work, but... I mean, it does kind I guess it kind of seems to work. Let's see. Oh, what? Unable to connect. Skip that. Is it going to work? I doubt it's going to work. Let's see. And nope, it just booted us right back out. All right. So yeah, obviously that doesn't work. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much everything you can do. So yeah, um, 
you can boot up this game without any updates installed. You just, um, if you've had a newer version, you have to reformat your system to do it. But thankfully, I didn't have a newer version. But yeah, if you did like this video, leave a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.